Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Today we are heading back out to Texas Aquatics. Got another unboxing to do. Just constantly gets in more and more fish. So let's go ahead and let's head on out there so you guys can see all the cool stuff that he got in this time. Florida. Got some epistogrammas and some African sixes. So farm raised stuff. Uh, yeah, this is, well they also, they also sometimes do some wild caught stuff, but for, the, for this stuff, it's going to be farm raised, captive bred. Yes, yes, sir. Got some red empress. These are the ones that, when the adults, the males will have a blue face and a red body. That's a Victorian cichlid? Uh, Malawi, Lake Malawi cichlid. Malawi, okay. So we got some assorted Africans. These are all in bonus from Lake Malawi. Now, do you end up sorting those into... No, I just put them all in one tank and let the male sort them out. And, and, I, and whenever I get new ones in, I'll, I'll put these in the lesser tank and keep on going. Ah. Uh. So you just sell them as a, assorted ma mabunas? Uh, yeah, assorted Africans, yeah. Sometimes you get other stuff in there, and sometimes it's not all in bonus. Sometimes it's uh, be, it'll be some hats and stuff in there, or some hybrids. Some you get what you get. Yeah, see, sometimes I'll empty out the bar ditch after the hurricane. Okay, these are some plastic chroma spino These are the uh, Malawi blue Du Boise or the star sapphires. They get blue with blue spangling as they get bigger. Right now, the little bitty, like inch and a half, two inches. But as they get bigger, they'll be a, a blue fish, like a hat more eye with, with blue dots all over them. These are the Apisto Agazizi double reds. And I don't know what's different between a double red and a triple red. Some of these almost look like triple reds because they have red on the top fin, tail, and anal fin. And that's what's supposed to be a triple red, so I don't know how. One of the people that, that said about the ones I got from you, they called mine super reds. Okay. They said they didn't think it was a double red, that was a super I didn't, They didn't explain why, but. Well, it's like, there is no, I haven't seen a standard. Yeah. Um, whenever somebody says, this is a wild caught, there's a standard. But these are all line bred. Yeah. So they, they take the best ones and keep on breeding them. And so you get line bread stuff, so there's no standard to them. So, and I don't know what you did between double red, triple red. Yeah. Everybody deals with everybody else. Everybody, there. None of this stuff is. I haven't yet to see something that only one person has. Because if, some, if one person has it and he's willing to sell it, of course, everybody's willing to sell it because that's how they make money. Well, then the next person has it, and unless you can regulate males and females, the next person breeds it. Everybody has it. <laughs> and they've, they've done different deals on, on trying to keep, like years ago, whenever the Neon Dwarf Rainbow, the Precox Rainbow came out, Eccles the only one who had them. They, whenever they imported them, they got one female and three males, so they had to play games to get them, and they tried to restrict who got what, and they let, supposed to let only males go out the door. And that was how you keep everybody else from breeding them. Um, but then somebody else says, well, hey, we can get more of these, and these breed really easy. But uh, now the, uh, the glowfish, not the glow, not the glow lights, but the glowfish, the ones that are, the little tetras. Yeah, the ones that are enhanced, the ones that are the ones that glow on the, that glow under black lights. The glow, the glow tetras. Oh, okay, the, those type. Yeah. The glow tetras, the glow Danios, the glow barbs. Um, those are somebody has genetically engineered them to put DNA from probably jellyfish. Jellyfish. Is what I've heard. Yeah. Um, but what they've done on those is if you. They're the only ones that, they patented that fish. So if you buy them and breed them and start 
mass producing them, they'll sue you over patent interest. Ah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a stretch. Well, I mean, if you, if you get millions and if you do it commercially, maybe, but, you know, if you just buy a few and you get them to breed, and tetras aren't something that people breed a lot of anyway. Yeah. They're not hard to breed, there's, there's time to but that's, that's what they do with that. It's, it's, they, they can get you for patent infringement rather than anything else. But like I said, it's just it's gonna be tough to tough to enforce it, especially if you don't do a, a whole bunch of it. That's just crazy. I mean, I mean, you put that in the context of a dog or a cat or a snake. Like, how could you possibly legally? Well, but so is it because of they're doing that DNA injections or whatever it is they're doing to cause that? Well, no, it's but see, it's it. But okay, years ago there used to be the painted glass fish and the painted white skirts, where they would physically paint them, where they dye them, and they put them in a dye, and, and they would the colors would fade or whatever. After a while, that they would they would revert to, back to a yeah. You'd negative. have to you have to treat every one the same you get one of the wild and you paint the top and you paint the bottom and they may or may not stay there very long but but whatever it was it, it would it would fade after a while so you had to do it with every one but these what they have now the glow fish are genetically modified gmos um, and they will breed true yeah yeah because i've seen them in patrick's patrick's accidentally bred them yeah Okay, a pistol of Via Heat of Gold. You didn't order the Via Heat, you ordered the no, Magnet. I got this from the last time. Okay, here's a Via Heat of Gold. <coughs> yes. Okay, these orange. are Labiotrophus full born eyes. Uh, orange. These are the uh, another signal that Lake Malawi. They have the, like the, Big nose and a bent over mouth. The mouth's on the bottom for them to to, to grab the algae off the rocks from down below. Okay, here's the McMaster eyes. Okay, here's the orange flame or orange flash. These guys are really nice. Nothing about the pistols, these are really colorful, really mild mannered guys. Got some, these are Victorian cichlids. These are something nigher eye, and the, the location is Makobi. That's the, uh, this is another one that used to be all, all hat nigher eye, and then they've uh, re did the names to give them all good good scientific names. But you see the real colorful male here. You see all the hats were from Lake Malawi, then they said then they busted all that up. Now all the hats are from Lake Victoria and they busted all that up so there's really not any hats anymore. Okay, now there's another half ruby green. They get more of a red green color to them. What do you mean there's no more haps anymore? From a certain lake? Um, they've all, they've, they've broken them all up so that nothing is, nothing is, nothing has a hat name officially anymore. Wow. So they've all busted them all up. Uh, this is a Kenyan gold. This is another Victorian. A lot of yellow on him. Other oh, history. <laughs> I assume he's putting back in the box. Okay, this is a uh, Black Widow Frontosa. I don't know if you can see them right there. This is a Frontosa that they've developed that has, oh, it says they have messed up bars. Well, it used to be you dispose of the ones you had messed up bars and then never shut anybody. Now you uh, breed them and charge triple. <laughs> Thanks again guys for stopping by. Love each and every one of you guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or comments. Don't forget to hit the uh, like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So thanks again guys and God bless.